What's up, everybody? Go Burns! Getting ready to check out a new supercar. Yes, Rockstar has released another supercar two weeks in a row. Well, these cars were already in the game, technically, but they weren't in the tunables. They came with the, uh, what, Finance and Felony update. So Rockstar's just divvying out these other cars, you know, week by week. Okay, so this is the car I'm really, really excited about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, first let's look real quick. Okay, so... Uh, you know which car I'm going to go for, though. I'm just seeing if there's any other cars, okay? Because there's supposed to be two more cars left. But the car that I really, really wanted the three, the you know, between the X80, the other one, and this one, yes, the 811. $1.1 million for this sexy-looking supercar. Obviously based off of the Porsche 918 Spider. So, yeah, the moment I saw that this was one of the cars that was going to be leaking... I knew I wanted it. So, like, last week, we did, what, the X80 for uh, GB over the PlayStation 4. This week, we're on the Xbox One with my Xbox One character, Janine. So, we're going to give her the uh, 811. Okay, so there are some specials, some discounts going on. The Liberator Monster Truck is back for $556,000. A little over half a million bucks for a monster truck if you don't have one already. And uh, I'm just trying to see if there's any other discounts while we patiently wait for my Fister 811 to be delivered. You know, I don't know why people try to pronounce the P. The P is silent in Fister. <laughs> I see so many other YouTubers like the, the Fister. I mean, it, dude, dude, calm down. It's Fister. That, that's it. You don't have to try and pronounce the P with the F. The P is silent. <laughs> oh, man. And everyone that gets so anal... Like, whenever I say, you know, the Porsche 918 or the Porsche Spider, okay, yes, I know, the full name is the Porsche 918 Spider, but chances are, I'm probably going to say Spider or 918, you know, just to keep it short. It'll happen probably at least once or twice in this video. Okay, some more discounts. Okay, so, looks like the Technical is also discounted for $570,000, if you're interested in the Technical, but personally... I think I'd rather have the turreted limo. It takes more damage. Yeah, it's $990,000, but it, it's also discounted. So of the two, I think I'd rather have the turreted limo. In fact, I do have the turreted limo, and I have the technical. But like I said, if I had to choose between one of those two, I'd go with the turreted limo. But it doesn't look like there's any uh, dock tees discounts. So no discounts on boats. And uh, let's look at Elitas real quick. And so far, I, I, the reason why I went over to Southern San Andreas was I was looking for the Sovereign. And I don't know where the Sovereign is, the motorcycle. So maybe, just maybe, they'll unlock that in a few days as we get closer to uh, July 4th here in the States, a.k.a. Independence Day. By the way, yesterday I went with a friend to watch Independence Day Resurgence because I was a big fan of the first movie back in 96. Uh, I'm dating myself, obviously. And it uh, looks like there's no... Uh, Yacht discounts, at least I don't think there is. But anyways, so yeah, I uh, went to go check out Independence Day Resurgence. I thought it was okay. I mean, it definitely wasn't as good as the original. But I thought it wasn't bad either. I wouldn't really call it a sequel because technically it is a sequel. But in a way, it's also a requel. It feels like they rehashed a lot of shit from the uh, first movie. But anyways, that's how I feel about Independence Day Resurgence. Let's see if the 811 has finally been delivered to my garage at Eclipse Towers. Okay, call him the trusty mechanic. Pick up! Pick up! Hurry up! I'm, I'm on impatient. the clock. What okay. you want? Some wheels? So, let's see. Where the hell is it? Oh, come on. This is bullshit. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I killed enough time there. I really did. I'll get back to it then. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> oh, bro. Fuck. Oh. Yeah, typical. Just as I hang up the fucking phone, I get that fucking email from Legendary. Gee, great timing, right? <laughs> now we're going to uh, get our fucking A11. Finally, you, uh, five years later. All right, so here we go, baby. Getting the A11. <laughs> like I said, I'm really excited about this because I love the 918 Spider. I think she's a beautiful, sexy-ass car. And I'm looking once again. I don't know. It's weird. It's like, yeah, it looks like they have the, the uh, Liberator up right now at Warstock discounted, but no sign of the Sovereign. That is very odd. And um, 
Oh yeah, one other thing I did before I started the video is I went to go look to see if the Independence Day stuff and the uh, t-shirts, the you know, the, all the Independence Day clothing as well as the um, rocket launcher or the masks were available and they're still not available yet. So along with the Sovereign, I'm guessing all that stuff won't be purchasable till maybe a few days from now. Hopefully Rockstar will once again unlock the Independence Day special like they've been doing the past year or so. Anyway, so here's the interior of the Fister 9, I mean 811. <laughs> I nearly said 911, which is a completely different Porsche, obviously, than the 918 Spider. And of course the 918 Spider is what the Fister 811 is based off. And so far, I love this car. In fact, I uh, may have to kiss the FMJ, a.k.a. the uh, you know, Ford GT goodbye. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to get to Los Santos Customs and see what kind of customization features we get for this sweet-looking ride. By the way, let me know below in the comment section of all the supercars that have come out so far for Finance and Felony, and I believe this is going to be it. The, uh, what, the Reaper, FMJ, the uh, X80 last week, and, of course, the Fister 811. Which of these four supercars is your fave? Let me know below in the comment section. I'm going to have to test this car out in uh, Criminal Records. So we'll be doing that in just a few minutes. <laughs> and we'll see how she does going around Bolingbroke Penitentiary. I'm going to try to get another good image of her real quick before we go in. Oh, God, she looks good. She looks so good. Man. Uh, damn. <laughs> you so fine, girl. <laughs> I just like Porsches. It's like when uh, Forza 6 came out, you know, with the uh, Porsche expansion pack a few months ago. I was, you know, giddy as a schoolgirl about that. All right, so let's check out the bumpers. There's several bumper customization options. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. I like customization, Rockstar. Something we didn't really exactly have for the Reaper are uh, the FMJ. I think we had a little bit of FMJ mod options, but not much. But there's only, like, one rear bumper option for the Fister 811, but that's okay, you know. I won't hold it against you. So it's interesting where the exhausts are, just like on the 918 Spider. That is really sweet looking. And we'll probably check this more out in a minute once I decide on a secondary color. And since it's Janine we're dealing with, I'm going to go with that cotton candy motif that I've, I've been using for a year now, ever since uh, the T20. You know, the, the hot pink and the ultra blue. I don't know. It just works for Janine. Just like uh, the, the 70s Batman, you know, ultra blue and yellow work for uh, GB over on the PlayStation 4. I know, I know, I have a problem, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these are the secondary colors. So, I don't know. Should I make the secondary color ultra blue? Let me look at this real quick. Okay, come on, come on, where are you? There's so many fucking blues. Okay. All right, so that looks promising. It looks like it has some potential. You may disagree with me. And you can uh, make your uh, 811 look whatever you want it to look like, you know, to each their own. All right, so we're going to do the opposite real quick and see what it looks like when I make the primary color ultra blue. Which one would be Bata? All right, scrolling up, 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 up. Okay. All right, down. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I mean, I could see this working. I really could. Then again, I kind of like the uh, the other way, too. I kind of like the pink. Uh, damn it! I can't decide. Okay, screw it. We're going to keep hot pink as the primary color, and then we're going to switch to uh, ultra blue as the secondary. That's just what I'm going to do for now, and eventually, maybe I'll change it. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't like wasting people's time here. So, anyways, yeah, I mean, I think this is going to be a really, really awesome car. <laughs> At least I'm hoping. I don't think it competes with the X80, because I already looked in the uh, social club in the stats section, as we check out the different roof options. So you can go no roof or you can go custom roof. And I don't know if that's anything special. It just looks like a carbon roof to me. So that's probably not worth getting. But if you want to go topless, hey, baby, go topless. <laughs> but anyways, I looked at the stats and I cons compared them in the uh, stats section at a, uh, you know, off the Rockstar Social Club site. It's early. Anyway, so the X80 Proto looks like it still has the best acceleration in the sports category. But the um, 811 is better overall stat-wise than the T20, and it looks to be even a little bit better than the FMJ. We'll talk about that in a moment. Okay, so 
There we go. We got the, the skirts looking nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, the spoilers. Definitely going to do this because, obviously, that improves, you know, some stat action right there. Yeah, that's one thing you always want to do, you know. You always want, especially if you're into racing, you want to, you know, try and max out your vehicle's performance. So we're going to eventually get the, you know, the armor, brakes, engine. I'll do all that in a minute. I'm not even going to worry about, you know, showing that because that's typical. Right now we're just checking out the uh, bumpers along with the uh, secondary color. See, I think that looks kind of cool, actually. I like that. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's go with ultra blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this car is starting to look really, really nice. So I don't think I want that. I don't think I want that for the bumper. I wish they had, you know, a little something extra for the uh, bumper besides just one other option, but that's okay. Like I said, this is way better than, um, well, the <laughs> lack of options we got for the freaking, uh, what was it, the um, FMJ and the Reaper? Yeah, those kind of sucked. Okay, so here we go. This car looks good to go for a little race. <laughs> yes, we are. We are going to Criminal Records, baby. And we're going to see how this thing does at Bowling Broke. <laughs> I love this freaking car. I swear I do. <laughs> it's love, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so here's some stat comparisons here between the FMJ and the uh, 811. And it looks like to me that the uh, 811 is a little bit better. I could be wrong. But then again, it's weird. It's like when I looked at the stats in the Social Club, it looked like the FMJ was a little bit better in one of the categories. But then when I looked up there a moment ago, and when I looked in the garage, I left that part out. So, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I think this is perhaps a better car than the FMJ. But if you disagree with me, you're welcome to chime in with your thoughts below in the comment section. Do you think the 811 is equal to or better or worse than the FMJ? I'm, I'm going to say better because, obviously, the uh, way more customization options. Plus, as much as I like the, the new Ford GT, I think I like the uh, Porsche 19, 918 Spider better. <laughs> Numbers, right? Okay, so FYI, as we're attempting to try and uh, break a record here, I don't think we're going to break any records. Because like I said, I don't think this is the fastest supercar in the game. I think that title is still with the uh, X80. But coming up on Thursday, we are going to do Q&A 17.0. And I have a ton of questions from you guys. So... Thanks to all of my Grand Theft Auto and Mafia fans for submitting questions for Q&A 17.0. That will be coming up Thursday because chances are there will probably be a Mafia vid sometime tomorrow. That's one thing I like about Hangar 13. They're very predictable about when they're going to post their viral stuff. Usually they do it on Mondays and Wednesdays, whether it's a postcard, new tri Bordeaux Tribune, etc. So, anyways, Q&A 17.0 coming up on Friday. And there we go. We are the winner. What a surprise, right? <laughs> All right, so we got 117 there. You know, I, I raced a few times in the Fister, and that was the best time I got. So, I mean, it's definitely not the fastest supercar, like I said, but anyways, it is. It's up there. I think it can compete. But anyways, this is such a beautiful car. The Fister 9, I mean, the Fister 811, now available in Grand Theft Auto Online for $1.1 million. It can be yours. And like I said, I just love the Porsche 918 Spider, and I'm really glad that Rockstar added this awesome supercar to Grand Theft Auto Online.